Big stop here. All right, one minute left. Let's get a stop here, Rod. Oh, no. Oh! Great defense.
Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Los Angeles Lakers here on their home floor in L.A. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analyst Richard Jefferson. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. John Collins out there with Brandon Ingram. Then it's James Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid. And for the Lakers, we've got Michael Porter, and it's Young in at the one spot. Well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Outside Porter, back to Williams. Pass to Yao, just five to shoot. Outside, Williams. And it's off in three-point range. And that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc. He's just that good. Ingram against Porter. The kick out to Williams. To the wing, right side. Nowitzki, pass to Young. Outside Porter. Here's Nowitzki. And he parries his first look. He's such a smart player. Jalen Williams making people around him better. And here's Harden. Collins outside. Pass to Iverson. Shoots over Young. And Young with the block. Williams. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Nowitzki. That's it. Oh, Coming off an assist from Young. Nowitzki's got five now. Yeah, defensively, if you come off someone, Young will find him. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Greg. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. And it's Nowitzki missing for Philadelphia. They've gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Here's Iverson. On the take. Pass to Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside. Yeah, B.A., we don't see that as much as we used to. Big man dominating down low, but Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. And Embiid is, no question, one of the best players in the game. Just a versatile big man who wants to win multiple championships. Pass to Nowitzki from outside the arc. They grab their own miss. And it's blocked by Embiid. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Pass to Nowitzki. Over Collins. Nowitzki. That one's good. Nowitzki's got his third basket of the night. 
starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Oh, for four to start things off. Got a bit of a pillow fight brewing here, but they're going to get it going. Young against Collins. Let's it fly. Rebounded by James Harden. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. And out of bounds, out of Los Angeles will have it. And always interesting to look back at last season. These were the NBA's best transition team. Fourth, the Lakers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity, even when defenders had already gotten back. Young, the pass to Nowitzki. over Collins and it's Philadelphia with the rebound good shot gone bad gotta finish there that's good from MB and on the assist by Ingram getting this one to fall hopefully gets things rolling their first make out of five shots pass to Nowitzki takes a three and James Harden pulls it down Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, that's a good defender awesome. making a play, and he does it without Ooh. fouling. A go-to score. Love seeing Ingram take punishment and fight his way through it. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. And also their pressure defense is paying dividends tonight. Turning them over and getting out in the open floor and running. That one drops. He ties it up. Yeah, and Brandon Ingram doesn't get enough credit for his growth as a free throw shooter. He shot below 70% from the line in his first three seasons. But since then, he hasn't dipped below 80. Novitski, that one's good. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The 76ers have gone 2 of 6 to open up this game. Iverson passes to Ingram. Here's Embiid. And another miss by Philadelphia. Los Angeles has gone just 2 for 6 from the arc here in the first quarter. And it's good. Walk through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Defensive foul. Allen Iverson. Hayden's checked in for Williams. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Michael Porter Jr. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From Wes to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. And Philadelphia calls time here. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. They were out-hustled on the boards the last time these teams met. Ingram tipped away. Right wing. 
Jackson Davis gets the three to fall. Nice. An excellent Davis. job of reading the defense as Ingram's court vision continues to improve. So will his playmaking. Pass to Nowitzki. Wide open look. Yes. And it's McConnell with the assist that time. McConnell's got his third assist of the night. Lowry outside. Outside low. Puts it up. It's hauled in by McConnell. That is not a bad decision to pull from there. It was just a little bit off of the execution. Porter shot is off. And Kitty has got the ball here for Philadelphia. It's a five-point game. Love finds Lowry. Rebound by the Lakers. And you've got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Giddy. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. No good on the free throw. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. He hits the second from the line. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No Race finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just Two keep winning the season. McConnell passes to Toppin. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Philadelphia has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Here's Jackson Davis. This shot's good on the assist Jackson by Giddy. Jackson Davis has got seven ball. points in the game. Great of basket's assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Pass to Peyton. Out of bounds. Oh, It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Philadelphia ball. And the 76ers making a change here. Coming under the floor for the 76ers. Trey Murphy. The Sixers trailing. Outside Giddy. One eleven left to play in the first quarter. Outside low. Outside Giddy. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. And Love with the basket oh, on the wow. assist from Giddy. Really? And the 76ers lead by one. The definition of a stretch big. Love's a great three-point shooter. And that helps so much with spacing. Right outside. Back to Payton. Out to the right wing. Right outside. Pass to Marjanovic. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And it's right missing. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And down it goes. Two points. And now a 3-point 76ers lead. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. McConnell outside. They need this. And he takes it up and lays it in. Any possession that ends with him finishing at the rim is ideal. From deep giddy. And that's not going to go. So at the end of one quarter of play, Still a close game. Sixers ahead. They're up by one. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere.
Man, it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? But what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points and the reserves delivered. Sometimes you just need a change of pace. The bench delivered that. All right, Grant, I'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now. Tell us what the key is to establishing culture in an NBA organization. Ooh, B.A. Culture, structured accountability. It's about getting the right group of guys, having strong leadership. And of course, it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. Here's Iverson, guarded by Young. Goes up on the wing. Iverson can't hit. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. On the wing, Porter. Pass to Nowitzki. Now here's Porter. Releases. Misses the jumper. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Here's Giddy. Some solid defense from Williams. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Now here's Young. No points so far. Nowitzki. The offensive rebound. Down. Yeah, good. Yeah. And the Lakers lead by two. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Outside Porter. And there's the foul. It's on Michael Porter. That's his first foul. Can you believe that's their first turnover? Good ball security has really helped them build this lead. Ingram's checked in for the Sixers. James Harden comes in for getting a chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, Brian, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is what's going to help them reach their peak. Brian? Well, they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure. Allie, thanks. The Lakers call timeout. All right, fans, if you want a free t-shirt, get up and get by. defensive teams from last year in third the 76ers they made life hard on opponents one of the best defenses in the NBA last year and here in the second two minutes gone by young with it still no points counted from distance they're gonna have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter he's hit four three-pointers already today and richard last season how gasol became the 12th player to have his jersey retired by the lakers 
And look, Pau Gasol was the number one pick in my draft class. He was rookie of the year. For me, he deserves to be up there with those greats. His 16 jersey hangs in the roster right next to Kobe Bryant. Their partnership, their brotherhood. Kobe was the first one to say that his jersey belongs in those Raptors, and they wouldn't have won those two championships without him. Just superb work in transition. This is where he really becomes an absolute problem. And it's Davitsky missing. The 76ers have gone four for seven in the second quarter. And it's Ingram off the drive. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Here's Yao. Embiid covers. And Embiid with the block. Order. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Nice to see that intensity from Porter Jr. Going right into the defender to collect a shooting foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. So far, they've shown a terrific work ethic in transition. Pushing the pace whenever possible and getting out ahead of the defense to score. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. That's good from Porter. And where the Sixers really separate themselves, Richard, elite in both three-point and free-throw percentage. Yeah, with Embiid doing what he does, you're going to get a lot of free-throws. And you're going to get looks from range because of the amount of attention that he gets. Porter hits them both. An exceptionally skilled player. You hope Michael Porter Jr. stays healthy. I mean, his potential is limitless. To the inside. Pulls it in from the elbow. And here's another one for the Sixers. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul, Allen Iverson. Free throws good, Young. Like a lot of smaller guys, there's a real ferocity to Trey Young's game. He's willing to scrap to get what he wants. Iverson passes to Embiid. Oh, oh nice oh, job, Embiid. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Pass to Nowitzki from deep. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Harden with it, and it's Young picking him up. Iverson, three-pointer off the mark. Well, despite some uneven shooting for him, they're still in front. Porter in the post. Collins defending. Outside for Porter. Williams passes to Porter. Four on the clock. Left side Young. Three-pointer. That is Trey's shot. The three. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You can see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. The 17-footer. And again, it's Philadelphia. And with a little extra arc on his shot, Ingram rarely has to worry about getting blocked. The Lakers call timeout. Their coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order and you can never be too content. The Lakers girl, let's make some noise. Porter Jr. Now Young. He's got six. Here's Nowitzki. Pass to Williams. 
Unloads. With nobody on him, he buries that jumper. Williams just got his first points of the game. Well, you got to be able to shoot fast in the league. So it's nice to see Williams doesn't need a lot of setup time. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And the chess match continues. It's seven lead changes already, and we're still in the first half. And here is Williams. Here's Levitsky. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Wing shot on the way. The shot by Ingram, no good. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. With the teardrop. And there it is for him. And it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. And he is stronger than he looks, trust me. I mean, Williams has the bulk to win those tough battles inside. Here's Iverson. The bank shot, no good. Nothing just seems to be bouncing his way today. Mama said there'll be days like this. They have missed his production. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. And so it's Ingram with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Harden. For the lob. Now here's Young. He's got six. One oh seven left to play in the half. Two points. That one goes. Young's got his third bucket of the night. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at hundred percent right now. To end the run. Rebound, the Lakers. Not his best efficiency this quarter. And look, sometimes that's how it goes. Forty seconds left in the first half. Pass to Williams. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Harden. Williams misses. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. There's no debate there. He's got him. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the 76ers, James Harden. First one falls. Let me say this. If you need it, he's got it. Harden does everything you want out of an offensive weapon. Harden hits them both. Now he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. Here's McConnell. Here's Levitsky. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. Well, these teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time, but I think it's going to count.
47. And so it's Los Angeles, up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Nick Nurse, and Coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Well, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots, but we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving it around a little bit. Need multiple paint touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off and relocating a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. We saw Dirk Nowitzki lighting it up in the first half. He had 23 points, two steals, and one assist. And last game, he could never really get going. Maybe that bit of fire under him tonight. Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? The way they're shooting in from deep, they're going to be hard to beat. This team has a lot of confidence in let them try without that space. Defensively, you have to force them off their spots. Make them put the ball on the floor. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia? Uh, Ernie, that's a lackluster performance. Lackluster effort. They don't have to stop running their sets. They want cutting. They want hustling. Shaq, if you played in this era, you'd have it 50 because guys didn't want to give the effort. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. We've got Trey Young, and it's Williams in at the two. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. The Sixers trailing. Here's Harden. Yep, that one's good. James Harden's Harden. got his second bucket of the night. Excellent focus from Harden there. James has been making those circus shots his entire career. Recently, James Harden has brought renewed focus to his playmaking, Richard. Make no mistake, B.A., he's still a gifted scorer, but yeah, he's been facilitating way more, leading the league in assists, just reminding everybody how cunning his game is that he can beat you with his passing. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court. Offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Allie, thanks for that. Misses. And Harden's got the ball here for the 76ers. Trailing by eight. Takes a 13-footer. Good on the jump shot. Ingram's got 11. Nice touch from the mid-range. Ingram looking confident, rising up and shooting from there. Williams passes to Nowitzki. Back to Williams. Stolen by Harden. Looking to get it going. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Don't you forget, Harden won with assist title now. If this man can pass that rock. Outside quarter. Pass to Yao. Here's Williams. Outside quarter. Williams passes to Yao. Here's Nowitzki. Collins defending. Sinks the trade. Nowitzki's got 28 points for the game. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Harden with it. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Clock at six. Puts it up from 12. And there's the return. 
ejection. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And the bucket is good. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. And Philadelphia calls time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. a season to remember and I think his fans would say the same Harden the pass to Iverson inside here's Embiid oh what a dunk by Embiid he's just doing big man things the way big man should there's Young and it's blocked by Embiid Here's Ingram. Rebound by the Lakers. Nowitzki's got six rebounds in the game. Knocks it loose. Left side quarter. Out to the wing. Young to pass to Williams. Here's Yao. Six to shoot. Over Embiid. Yao shot is off. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. Los Angeles has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Porter. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Porter. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up on Friday. They'll begin a road trip, starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. Then on Sunday, they're off to Brooklyn to face off with the Nets. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Collins outside. And the call is going to be, yes, on an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turn. you got to focus on the details. Marjanovic checked in for Los Angeles. McConnell comes in for Young. Los Angeles has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. McCollum passes to Nowitzki. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And so it's Embiid who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Seven-point differential. Count that one. Yeah, that's a good look for Collins. I like the offensive approach right there. McCollum passes to Nowitzki. The Lakers with another miss. For Philadelphia, they've gotten five of ten shots to go. And he lobs it up. Oh, Embiid snatches it out of the air and throws it down. I like whenever Embiid's teammates use his size and throw it anywhere near the rim because he finishes it. McConnell left side. To snap the cold streak. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Iverson. Tries again. Embiid 
muscles to the contact. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words he cannot remember. for the Lakers. Toppin, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Wright comes in for Porter Jr. And Payton is subbed in for Williams. The 76ers also with a sub. Love's checked in. Pass to Payton. Toppin outside. And here's McConnell. Five on the clock. Buries it from three. McConnell's got the second bucket on the night. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Embiid inside. It's Embiid going to work inside. The offensive arsenal of Embiid is phenomenal. He's capable of scoring in a multitude of ways. Two Here's Giddy. That one's good. This game is all even. Oh, that's great basketball. Denying them on one end while grabbing points on the other. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, bro. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Outside Giddy. Pass to Embiid. Off the left rim and out. Well, okay, well, I like his aggressiveness, but, like, the defense was waiting on him that time. McConnell passes to Payton. And they call an illegal screen here. Illegal screen. And it's time to give you a look at the top three-point shooting teams from a year ago. The 76ers, number one. And looking at last season, the thing that jumps out at you is their three-point percentage. Best in the league in that category, which is great to see considering how valued the three ball is nowadays in our game. Here's Embiid. Back to Kitty. Embiid with it. He's got 16. Just three to shoot for the lead. And he gets the jumper to drop. Giddy's got four points in the quarter. Lack of communication defensively. No help on the mismatch. The ball's knocked loose. Levitsky pass to McConnell. Here's Wright. Toppin outside. Pass to Levitsky. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Levitsky's got nine points now in the second half. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooter. Outside Giddy. Now here's Embiid. 
Embiid through Whoa. contact. Embiid. Once Embiid has the ball in that spot, it's like that. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. Sixers ahead, up two. After a quick break, we're coming right back at the start of the fourth quarter. 61. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. Okay, man. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. We've got John Collins, Kyle Lowry out there with James Harden. Then it's Brandon Ingram, and it's Jackson Davis in at the center. The shot by Ingram, no good. You've got to move past that one. I mean, they wanted to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Pass to Toppin. Uses the glass on the layup. And this is just oh, typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. That his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And he's going for the oop here. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Williams against Harden, and here's Toppin from the arc, and another three for the Lakers. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. And let's talk about their blocks. When you're facing the team's swatty shots, it becomes a mental situation as well. Makes you think twice before you fire. Pass to Porter. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Lowry, the pass to Ingram. And here's Collins for three. The Sixers again can't hit. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Young. Here's Toppin. Gets the bucket and the foul. James Harden picks one up. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for That's Philadelphia. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, OB Toppin. That's good from Toppin. Moving along, two minutes gone in the fourth. And the 76ers call time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Good timeout if you ask me. They have the momentum and coach wants to find a way to try and stop. Get away. Here you get lost. Reporter Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. He told the guys to stay after it inside. He said our play inside is terrific right now. He said don't lose any of that intensity. Stay strong down there. It's always nice to hear a coach enjoy his team's play. Back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Inside the paint, it's nearly impossible. The man is a monster. Shooting for Philadelphia. And Embiid drops them both. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not 
him. He's putting the work to defy that assumption. Now Williams. And there's the lob. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Lowry against Young. Rebound by the Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Toppin outside. Beyond the arc. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got his fifth assist in this one. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on handling that With those long strides, Ingram eats up space in a hurry. The defense is just a little late. Team ball. Shooting to go up. Brandon Ingram. At the line for two. Free throw, good from Ingram. And so he hits both. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Lakers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Now here's Young. Tight defense on him. And it's blocked by Embiid. They retain possession. Porter against Ingram. Over to the left wing. There's the block. Outside Young. And there's another one for the Lakers. I really like that from Young. Hitting that tweener shot, making them guard you all around the floor. Here's Harden. And that one's good. James Harden. And here's Young. Topping outside. 4-3. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Brilliant move by Harden against the foul. Getting the whistle. James Harden. At the line for one. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The lead is two. Porter pass to Yao. Yes! And the foul! That's on Joel Embiid. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Second team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Yao Ming. One shot. The 76ers have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Pass to Ingram. Fires it from 18. And right on target. That was good. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. Hey, draw him up a solid play, get him an open look, and he delivers. 
and late in games, throw out those analytics. Give me the mid range, the shot, it just works. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Harden against Williams. Right through the D for the layup. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now here's Young. Pass to Nowitzki. Back to Young. Fearless Trey Young. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Embiid. It's blocked. Young with it. Outside, Williams. Porter looks it over. Here's Yao. Five to shoot. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid. Shot's good by Iverson. Hey, clashes with the larger defender and makes maybe the biggest shot of the game. Love the relentlessness. Wasn't going to give up a chance for a big play. Here's Gravitsky. They grab their own miss. Yao. Excellent D there from Embiid. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Down low. Here's Collins. Porter pulls it in. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Young. And again, the Lakers, no good. It is a shame to see how high percentage look go to waste. We'll be hearing about this one in the locker room, I'm sure. Pass to Iverson. Up top, Collins. Fires from deep. Hits a three-pointer. And the confidence Collins has is impressive. Doesn't feel any pressure taking these big shots. Outside Young. Outside Porter. Here's Nowitzki. Collins defending. To the middle. The kick out to Williams. Nowitzki. Pass to Porter. Laces one from three. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through the clutch. And Philadelphia calls time here. Philadelphia. Behind by four. 43 seconds left to play in the fourth. Now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow. So impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Embiid, and he drives in, and it's rejected, and an intentional foul right there. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Allen Iverson, his third personal foul, the fourth team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Trey Young. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that's big making all of those, giving them a little bit more breathing room. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by six. And we've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter here.
Defense, the Lakers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Harden. Tipped. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Trey Young. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. Now Philadelphia with it. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. So we see the Lakers get the win here. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting a win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against. And um, that, that's all I care about. Thanks, Trey. Guys? Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
Congratulations to Brian for taking home the My NBA Eras Championship. Well, we're closing in on the end of season five. Rise and Elite are neck and neck, so get out there and do your part. Go, Go Rise! Oh, it's Elite. <laughs> My affiliation needs to win. We're tied 2 2. Take it home and enjoy the game. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. With break... ...and Hall of Fame... A look at the Magic starting group. West is out there with White. Then it's Zion Williamson. Then it's Ewing. And it's Okongwu in at the power forward. And for Memphis, DeAndre Jordan is out there with Holmgren. Then it's Tracy McGrady. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Walker in at the three, the small forward. McGrady against West. Puts up a deep three. Shot by McGrady, no good. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. And the Magic making strides, but Doris, their offense is still lagging behind. Yeah, a couple things come to mind here, Kevin. Obviously, outside shooting and playmaking are two areas where they can grow. Elite perimeter play would probably help take them to the next level, but this is all part of the process when you've got young talent. Here's Williamson, and the jumper from down low is good. Well, that's just the pure strength and explosiveness of Williamson. Easily finishes there through the contact. West against McGrady. Near the three-point line, it's Holmgren. Orlando grabs the miss. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Grizzlies. That one was played in Memphis. Yeah, so close in that one, but that's of no solace to the players. They played their hearts out. You know what, 
sometimes you play a great game and lose. What you hope happens, though, is it toughens them up a bit mentally and they figure out how to close it out next time. Best passes to Ewing. Back to West. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. No, I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Holmgren. He claims that one off the back line and down it falls. Holmgren's got his second basket of the game. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. White, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. Here's Hungry. Misses the way up. Well, this is what you call your big man playing big. Terrific work on the glass. West against McGrady. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. And again, it's Orlando converting. And you can see Zion's confidence continues to grow, especially when he's in his shots like that. Curry can't get it to go. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. This is what we came to see, right? Go ahead, Sion. Do your thing on the alley -oop. Now the pass to McGrady. Curry looking around. Lock at six. Holmgren trying to get open. Gets it to go from beyond the up. You know if you're open, Stephen Curry has that team first mentality. He will find you. West against McGrady. Curry with the steal. And it's Memphis on the break. Ah, Doris opening night. This is what we've all been waiting for. Oh, Kevin, for the diehard fans, that late summer months, those are brutal. You're just anxious to get back at it and see the greatest in the game go and apply their craft. Can't wait. West against McGrady. A stupendous finish in traffic. West has got his second bucket of the night. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. So timeout call here. The first for Memphis. Great right for a franchise like Memphis. Is there a specific way they have to build? Through the draft. Uh, I mean, they aren't going to get the huge A-list free agents, so you have to hit on your picks. You also have to keep your guys happy. Sign them to smart extensions. comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And Julius Randle subbed in for Walker. Walker's checked in for Orlando. Jones comes in for White. West against McGrady. Pass to Hayes. Puts up a three. Here's Randle. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, Julius Randle knows how to get to the offensive window and create shots. 
Here's West, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's going to be on Tracy McGrady. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the match. And guys, they've done a great job feeding their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. On the first one, guys. And you know, Doris, the Magic have struggled offensively in the past few seasons. You are right, Kevin. The numbers on that end haven't been pretty. But let's remember, they've got some of the best young talent in the league. The more experience they get, the better they become. The future is bright. Dix check in for the Grizzlies. Exum comes in for McGrady. No good on the second free throw. A great pretty is a word that is often used to describe the Grizzlies team. And I think it applies to this unit as well. These guys are all tenacious and hungry. They play every game with a healthy chip on their shoulder. They love to team. the shoot. Randall no good. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. They lead by four. For this young Orlando team last season, GA was a huge step forward. A 12 win improvement taking a giant step forward offensively. The top five scorers all under 25 years old. A very bright future in Orlando. One falls for him. And you look at all the things this man brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Grizzlies trail by six. And here's Exum. That shot, no good. West with some nice D. Shoots over Exum. Here's Ewing. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And Ewing with that size really creates a tough matchup, especially when he's attacking the offensive board. Always going up for the alley-oop here. West with the steal. And here we go with the Magic Best break. Walker finds Carter. West with the ball. Ewing the pass to Walker. Back to Ewing. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. some numbers for Carter. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about 15 points a game last season. Eight rebounds and two assists. And you talk about defensive presence, he's the real difference maker on that end. Yeah, he's always somewhere around the ball, finding ways to help his team by shutting down the opponents. You know, Doris, something to admire about Julius Randle is the joy, the pure joy he takes in this game. Well, joy obviously comes when we're successful at something. And Julius Randle has become consistently successful at NBA basketball. He's worked hard to make that perimeter game as dangerous as his dribble drive game. And that kind of balance leads to great success. The first free throw is good. It seems to me Julius Randle improves every season. And the more responsibility he's given, it seems the better he performs. 
And Orlando making a change here. Jackson's checked in. So one for two that time at the strike. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. West outside. Pass to Jones. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Looney with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by seven. To the inside. Hey. And Hayes throws it down. Well, how about the outstanding vision from the crafty point guard, Dante Exum, seeing the floor beautifully. West dishes to Jackson. Here's Jones. Cams the 12-footer. And the Magic lead by seven. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Pass to Dick. Jacks up a three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Here's Jones, and that one is good. Jones has got his second basket of the night. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. And there's the pass to Dick. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Nine feet out, and the Grizzlies 10 down, two more. Boy, not nearly tough enough inside on the defensive end. They made that all too easy for him. Jones looking for an opening. Outside, Walker for three. Offense, the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. Magic lead by four. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And from what we've seen from Orlando, what do you guys see? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. The Grizzlies trail by four. This is how the floor looks for the Magic start in the second. Okongwu is out there with Williamson. Then there is Derek White, and it's Wall, and it's Carter, and at the center, filling out the middle. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Jordan. Patrick Ewing. Orlando leading by four. And Wall kicks to Okongwu. Pass to White. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Craig, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. down the first one. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender, a guy who can contribute to a good team. Both good from the line that time. 
Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Outside Curry. That's good. Great play set up by T Mac. Tracy LeBree. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. Right the pass to Williamson. Here's Okongwu. Still yet to score. Kicks it to White. Just five to shoot. The Magic need to get a shot off here. And here's Paul outside. Hangs on the trifecta. And the Magic lead by six. This guy has worked so hard to make his shot legit. The compact stroke from three by John Wall. Yes, sir. Pass to Holmgren. From 10 feet out, it's rebounded by Ewing. And this defense, so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, DeAndre Jordan making his presence felt at the offensive end. Nice. The Grizzlies shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. DeAndre Jordan. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, when DeAndre Jordan is engaged, this guy is flat out a difference maker. He understands how to play to his strengths. And he's good on the second. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Wall up top. He feeds it to Ewing. And the rejection by Holmgren. Get it out of here. Holmgren too much defensively. Curry gets it to go inside. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game, right? Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. season he was around 26 points per game seven rebounds and four assists and he paced the whole team in points per game last season well his teammates understood that he was their best option and understandably they got him the rock and now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines you got for us da thank you kevin the orlando magic is rolling out with some long and rangy athletes they've got some size and the foundations of an identity 
One scout recently said, everyone talks about playing positionless basketball, but they're the only ones who have really said, what the heck, let's do it. Kevin? <laughs> They've got a type, don't they, David? Thank you. He goes up again. And the rejection by Hendry. All against the three. The three connects from three-point range. McGrady's got six. And how about getting the hand up on McGrady, especially when he's looking to shoot from the outside? This is a throw Conwood. White against Kirk at the elbow, Ewing, and he comes up with the deuce. Six points for Patrick Ewing. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Gotta fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And there it is for him. That's now eight points for Zion Williamson. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. McGrady dishes to Walker. Ewing against Holmgren. To the middle, trying to find Curry. He's got it now. White with the defensive effort. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Ewing, good. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. But Brady with the ball. Three points for him. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Williamson against McGrady. Stolen by Walker. Inside, the eight footer. That's good. Great play set up by teammate man Tracy McGrady. McGrady's got three assists in the game. Time call here. The manager decided to talk it over. Plays with some changes. Jackson A's is checked in for Chet Holmgren. Julius Randle comes in for Lonnie Walker. And Dick subbed in for Stephen Curry. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Carter, he's checked in for Ewing. Walker comes in for Williamson. Herbert Jones, he's checked in for White. And West subs in for John Wall. Oh boy, the wingspan of DeAndre Jordan. This guy sends it back with a message. Here's Okongwu. The Grizzlies trail by six. And Memphis turns it over again. With this chance, let's show you the league's most intimidating shot clock and defenses from last season. In third, the Grizzlies. Well, an important element of their defense is the ability to intimidate. I mean, their stellar shot blocking last year accomplished that in a big time way. 
the pass to Cook. West outside. Over Hayes. West kicks to Cook. The shot's good on the assist we by West. Three. West has got three assists in the game. Walker against Randall. Pass to Hayes. Got it. Good job in the low post. Hayes has got his second bucket of the game to go. Now, Julius Randall can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. Out to the right wing. A wide open look here for Okongwu. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. West against McGrady. Pass to Dick. Back to McGrady. Randall against Walker. Just five on the clock. Second chance effort. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second personal foul. Second team. Well, with his strength, Julius Randall can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. Shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. 76% from the line a season ago. First one falls, and the Grizzlies with some changes. Kevon Looney comes in for DeAndre Jordan, and it's Exum in for Tracy McGrady. And a change for the Magic. Jackson's checked in. All free throws, good from Randall. This quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Here's West. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight, three for four. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Here's Dick, defended by Jones. Hayes and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. At the line for two, Jackson Hayes. Free throw good from Hayes. He doesn't get the second one. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was not. And the shot goes in. And the Magic lead by eight. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Passes it through Exum. He lines it up. A flawless finish on the alley. Size and speed make him a tough cover, and especially in these pick and rolls as a pass. Here's West, and it's Cooney with the rebound. His leads have gone 7-13 for the field since the start of the second. Here's Randall. Walker with some nice deep. At the elbow, it's Jackson. He dishes it to West. 
Pass over Exum. West misses. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest forcing the miss. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Steph, you know you're number one in the defensive scouting report. How do you counteract that? I just got to slow down. I mean, uh, they're playing good defense, trying to trap the ball screens and take on the three-point line. But, you know, just got to be aggressive, keep getting shots up, making the right plays, and they'll turn around. We'll see what you do in the second half. Thanks, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Things were going Orlando's way from the beginning. You could see the daggers in their eyes as they went on a 10-4 run to start things off. They kept up enough momentum to close out the first quarter with a six-point lead. In the second quarter, they continued to trade punches and won the exchange, finishing with a six-point advantage at the break. What did you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Magic? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted, playing an outstanding game. They can keep it up in the second half. They may wear the other side out. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. upon us, we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Jerry West really has his fingerprints all over this one. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've got DeAndre Jordan. Curry is out there with Tracy McGrady. Then it's Walker, and it's Holmgren in at the center. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Shoots from 12. Foul in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. McGrady, as accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game, keeps that high release point on the jump shot. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for the Grizzlies. Tracy McBrady. Good, McGrady. One of the most ferocious scorers in the game. McGrady's length and athleticism is so difficult to contain. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thanks very much. Jim Wendell Bruce. Carter Jr. didn't break through in his first stop with the Bulls, but he's become a cornerstone player with the Magic. What he says is, I definitely tapped into a different side of myself. Defensively, being able to guard one through five just continuing to go up from there and helping my team. Kevin? Good stuff, D.A., thank you. He shoots again, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's going to be on Tracy McGrady. Good job to take it right at the team. The Magic shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Two shots. And 
and he makes the first. Throws good for West. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Outside, Walker. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And stolen by Williamson. Here's West. Second shot opportunity. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Here's a look at the schedule for the Magic. On Friday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Saturday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Memphis Grizzlies. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. First one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. The Grizzlies trail by nine. McGrady. He's got 11. Walker in the post. Working on Williamson. Here's Holmgren. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. It's on Patrick Ewing. Very difficult to block a seven-footer without fouling. Holmgren will go to the free throw line. The Grizzlies have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. Free throw drops for Holmgren. Boy, you think about the size and skill set. That should allow Chet Holmgren to be very good for a very long time. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. West finds Okongwu. There's the three. They grab their own miss. On the basket by Ewing. Ewing's got the lead up to nine now for the match. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Holmgren can't hit. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And he gets it to go. Soft touch by Derek White. The floater, not an easy shot, but he puts that one on target. Outside, Walker. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And Orlando has possession. Here's Orlando now. Big stretch here going 10 2. Last passes to Williamson. Now Ewing, defended by Holmgren. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. That one drops for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now.
It's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast break teams from a season ago. Second, the Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Rest against McGrady. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. Well, we've seen this one or two times, have we not? DeAndre Jordan finishing end of the alley-oop. Nice. The pass to Okongwu. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. The inbound. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of ball. A shot by Curry, no good. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Williamson out to White. Now West, 13 points in the game. Dishes it to Ewing. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. And one reason why Ewing is not only an all-star talent, but a Hall of Fame talent. Awesome at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. And that one's good. Look great. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Rest against McGrady. And the rejection by Holmgren. And it's out of bounds. The last touch by Holmgren. McGrady against West to the paint, and then Ewing with the jam. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. From deep three-point land, the Grizzly is keeping it alive with a new 14. From deep, Walker. Orlando grabs the miss. Ewing's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's West. That one a 10 off line to the right, but drops in four. West has got 15. And, and how about the lift? West gets on his shot. Leaning back just a touch. Very difficult to contest. Here's Walker. And Ewing sends it back. And here comes White. Leading the fast break. And there's West. That good on the assist by White. White's got six assists now in the game. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Magic. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off on in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Randall's checked in. The Magic also changing it up. Isaiah Jackson, he's checked in for Okongwu. And it's Herbert Jones in for Derek White. I think he's got to settle down, because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. The three is good, and he got fouled in the act of shooting. This could turn into a four-point play. Defensive foul. Zion. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Looney's checked in for the Grizzlies. The Magic also changing it up. Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Ewing. And John Wall subbed in for West. One misses for Randall. Magic leading by 14. Steps back and fires. Good on the shot. Wall's got five. 
Now he has the speed of a track star. Wall devastating, running the transition opportunity. And Brady. It's in and good for his sixth Brady. field goal in 10 attempts. Brady. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Kongwu's checked in. And all right, let's uh, take a look at the numbers for Looney. Last year, getting it done. He was around seven points a game last year. Nine rebounds and two assists. And, and it's nice to be able to bring someone with his defensive skill set off the bench. I think, in fact, to win a championship, you usually need a guy like this on your roster. Curry passes to Looney. That's it go from 11. That one's good, and the Magic lead is put down now to just 12 on the basket from Tracy McGrady. Down low, here's Williamson, and denied, he sends it right off the glass. Second chance shot, Jones, no luck. Those leads have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Wow, Curry, automatic, okay. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Jones kicks to Jackson. And it's going by Randall. Goes up, and Randall throws it down. Boy, great gamble by Julius Randall. Sets up the transition game. Forty seconds left to play in the third. Wall dishes to Jackson. Chalk up two there. Isaiah Jackson's Jackson. got his second basket. And they just refuse to go away. And really have slowly worked themselves back into the game. McCready with the ball. Now defended by Williamson. in the layup for two. Williamson's got 10 points in the game. Just too strong. Zion not to be denied. And so is Orlando holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And we'll be back with you shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. 
Orlando leading by 11. On the court for Orlando. White is out there with West. Then there's Hewitt. Then it's Okongwu. And it's Jones in. It's the small forward. Hewitt. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. That's an excellent decision. Playing in the pick and roll, just understanding where the windows are, delivers it right in the pocket. Randall against Jones. And it's sent back by Okongwu. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's Ewing. The shot's good on the assist by West. Ewing's got four points now in the quarter. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. There's Exum. It's stolen by West. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Ewing finds Jones. There's the lob to the hoop. And Ewing slams it in. Obviously a great athlete, but the length of Ewing also helps on those alley-oops there. Throw it up his way, and the rest is easy. Pass to Exum. Hooked away. Rando vicious to Exum. On the wing, Jordan. Curry pass to Exum. Six to shoot. Tries it for 19. Randall with the bucket. Julius Randall's improvement means he's going to have a good defender on him. And this guy makes contested shots now. Look out, Julius. Inside. Here's Ewing. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. So one on Holmgren. First team call. Shooting for a level. Patrick Ewing at the line for two. The first free throw is good, and Memphis making a change here. Walker's checked in. Good on both. Impeccable from, from the line since halftime. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Exum deciding where to go with it. Pass it to Kirby. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got his third assist on the night. You see the fear that Curry and his ability to shoot with range, it opens up other aspects, whether the drive or, in that instance, the midi. 
Walker against Jones. Walker's shot is off. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. To the paint. And Jordan throws it down. And hard to decide which is better the pass, the catch, or the slam. No, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Curry against White. Outside, Jones. Orlando moving the ball around. Just three to shoot. Here's the three. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Here's Walker. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. White the best to Ewing. Back to White. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. Second team foul. At the line for the Magic, Derek White. And that one falls for White. Tracy McGrady's checked in for Dante Exum. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. 15-point game. Passes to McGrady. Let's the three fly. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists tonight. There's the pass to Okongwu. He kicks it to Ewing. And it's West in the corner. And it's blocked by Jordan. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Memphis ball. Williamson is checked in for Herbert Jones. The Grizzlies trail by 12. And here is McGrady. And it's good. That bucket takes him to 9 for 14. What muscle from McGrady right there. Brushing off the defense with ease. To the inside. Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. McGrady against West. McGrady kicks to Holmgren. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. White against Curry. White, good. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. Curry against White. From six away. And the play by Curry as he finishes it off for two. Curry's got four this quarter. Goodness, what a move there to lose the defender. Got him on his heels, and then he made it look easy from there on in. Right side to Walker. Goes back up. And Holmgren lays it in. Yeah, that's about determination and hustle. Chet Holmgren getting a second chance opportunity because of his work. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over.
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Patrick Ewing. And he's had the hot hand tonight, Kevin, no doubt about it. He's gotten his field goal percentage up over 60, and you're only going to get it that high when you're taking good, smart shots. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? During that last break, I got a chance to hear what Jamal Mosley said to his team. Now, he keep praise on the defense. He said, the pressure's great. I love it. Keep making them make mistakes, guys. It's working. He thinks they're on the right track here. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, David. It's three outside. That's good. Great play set up by T-Man, Tracy McGrady. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. 127 left from the fourth quarter. Walker in the corner. Pops it up for Jordan. Hammers the alley and through. Well, this is often how DeAndre Jordan gets his points in a set offense off the floor. Pass to Okongwu. Ewing surveying the floor. That's for the wide open look. Grizzlies with the rebound. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Williamson, the best to rest. Holmgren again, Ewing. And Holmgren pulls it down. And here's Curry who brings it up for Memphis. They trail by seven. Well, McGrady is just going off right now. He's enjoying himself and going after buckets with reckless abandon. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a potential foul. Herbert Jones is checked in for the match. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They lead by five. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. timeout called by Memphis. They trailed by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Curry. It's in! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Nobody you want taking that shot more than Steph Curry. What a pressure player. And so they foul intentionally. Tracy personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Magic, Jerry Ricks. Two shots.
That's the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he cannot convert on the second, and this is timeout called the Grizzlies. They're down by six. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Memphis with the ball. Six-point game. Curry outside. Patrick Ewing comes up with the rebound. Terrific close out there. The challenge is the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Shooting for 11. Jerry West. Two shots. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead second one is good hitting both at the line and it's an eight point game out left to the wing Jit passes to Looney. The Grizzlies with another miss. And so it's Orlando winning this one. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks with John Wall. John, it sure looks like the chemistry is coming together. What is the bond like with your teammates? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we just try to keep getting better each day. Well, the work is paying off, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.
There's no better time than when it's time for Top Plays. This is Scott Moak, public address announcer for your Sacramento Kings. And it's starting to warm up thanks to you sharing the ball and your submissions. Let's take a look at your State Farm Top Assist. And that's the player introductions completed. So in just a few... Hello from 2K Sports. We're up. culture tonight with the NBA celebration of Noche Latina. Hi folks, this is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. And the Oklahoma City starting five. We've got Jamal Murray, Kyle Kuzma out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's Olajuwon in at the five. And for the Heat, they've got DeAndre Hunter, Mike Conley out there with Demata Sabonis. And it's Wade in at two guard. We've got new rosters, fresh starts, and a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the off-season storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. Hard away with it. Pass to Olajuwon. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Now that's what I call great basketball. Finding a way to get all the way inside. Man, that's a, a painted possession right there. A masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. OBA, I mean, those KD teams were built to the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Dwayne Wade. Wade is a very consistent performer from the foul line. This is why you always avoid fouling him if you can. Here's Murray. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, he'll count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And the one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. throw drops from Murray and this summer one of the Heat's own Dwayne Wade inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame brand. What an amazing big game performer Dwayne Wade was during his entire career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock, the Miami Heat. If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. Kuzma down low. Hunter covering. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by Wade. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now, this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Following the bucket by the Heat. Tremendous effort. Defends the shot and gets in perfect position for the rebound. Hunter against Kuzma. Hunter passes to Rodman. Shot clock at six. And it's good. Two points. Now their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Four of four so far. Hardaway, the pass to Vucevic. Now Murray. Pass to Olajuwon. Shoots over Sabonis. Shots good by Olajuwon. Olajuwon's gotten his second bucket of the game. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Offensive rebound. About well, due for a miss after four of five to begin this one. On the wing, Murray. Pass to Kuzma. Fires for three. Nails it from three. Kuzma. And Kuzma spacing the floor nicely, patiently waiting and knocking down the three. To the paint. Here's Wade. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Wade's got five points. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Hardaway. Miami grabs the miss. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's an aggressive attitude defensively. And there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's his first foul. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Pass to Wade. Hunter on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Over Kuzma. Kuzma knowing his body well and using it. No good with the elbow jumper. To the inside. And he taps it home with authority. 
can't talk enough assist about the, the subtleties in that Penny setup Murray. right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Wade. He's got five. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. As we saw there, Dwayne Wade is really one of the most dangerous guys in the league in pick and roll action. Kuzma down low. Hunter covering. It's Kuzma with the miss. Knocked loose. Here's Hunter. Pass to Rodman. Back to Hunter. To the middle. Here's Wade. No good that time. Kuzma with the defensive effort. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for the Thunder. They trail by one. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. He's got five. Kuzma absorbing contact, focusing on the rim, and why not get the finish? Now here's Hardaway. Still without a bucket. Murray, shot is good. Meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. Outside Hunter. Over Kuzma. Again, the heat misses. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Now here's Murray. He's got five. And it's good for two. You know when Murray is being aggressive, it's when he's in the frame of mind to go in, get contact, and do damage at the line. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, B.A., more methodical, definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. Thunder. All right, let's use this time to check out the teams with the most steals last year. The fourth spot held by Oklahoma City. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risk and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Pass to Wood. Back to Vassell. Pocket four. Here's Bassey. He shoots a three. Hits the trifecta. For Vassell to really make an impact, that's what he has to do. Initiate the offense. Guarded by Morris. Now Kessler. Down low. Here's Eubanks. Bassey pulls it in. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. And it's good to see Vassell find the open man as he continues to evolve as a playmaker. Hayward outside. Money from 12 feet away. And the Thunder lead by two. 
their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. A minute six left to play in the first. Vassell passes to Wood. Here's Bassey. Up again. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Pass to Oubre. A shot from the mid-range. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Here's Merrill. The basket drops, and, and he gets Sam. fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Third team foul. Now at the line, Sam Merrill. That puts him up one point in the game now. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Hayward from the arc. And there's the call on Drew Eubanks. That's foul number two for him. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Hayward against Vassell. One second left. That misses. Would have counted had he gone. And a high scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. It's the Heat. They're up by one. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Heat. In the early goings, their effort level has been exceptional. The speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. We've got Mike Conley. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Demata Sabonis. And it's Rodman hit at the floor. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And Hunter getting enough room to find somebody to be hunting. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. But he always focused on the big prize. Coach Bolster said, quote, winning a championship can be done in a lot of different ways. The game is played on both sides of the floor with IQ and with toughness, making plays in those winning moments. It's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. Brian? Well, he would know, Allie. Thank you. Pass to Sabonis. Hunter against Kuzma. And Hunter, here we go. From downtown, his fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Look, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've got to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. On the wing, Wade, defended by Murray. Pass to Rodman. Outside Hunter. Fires the three. 
The Thunder pull it in. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Kuzma. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Kuzma's got seven. Kuzma, rise, and fire. Hardaway against Conley. And that one drops for him. And the Heat lead by one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Kuzma against Hunter. Kuzma down low. He has seven. Can't connect from short range. Hunter against Kuzma. Hunter, good. Yeah. And now a three-point Miami lead. Good move for Hunter to get to the inside, and he just navigated the defense well. Murray looking around. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Miami Heat. On Friday, they'll defend home court against the Portland Trailblazers. And then Sunday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Washington Wizards. Here's Hardaway. Yet to see a basket. And a miss there off the inbound. Now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. You know, Brent, one thing about DeMontis Sabonis, he definitely helps their offensive flow. Yeah, he's one of the better screeners in the league. And you know this, Grant, those dribble handoff plays create so much first movement, space, and rhythm to an offense. That's where Sabonis really excels. Mike Conley. Free throw drops for Conley. Yeah, one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Both good from the line that time. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. It's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they stopped how their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, VA. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. Here's Conley. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Sabonis outside, inside. Six to shoot. Conley on the attack. The shot no good. Vucevic with some nice D. Oklahoma City trailing. Murray for three. And count it. Now five for seven. And Murray shooting with this kind of efficiency. Look how fired up the bench is. Here's Wade. Defended by Murray. And there's the whistle. They'll pin that one on Nikola Vucevic. That's third foul of the game. Second team foul. On defense, the Thunder. Here's Rodman. Back to Wade. Shot clock at five. For Murray. There's some length for Murray as a guard there as he helps out on defense and pesters the shooter. Here's Hardaway. And that misses. That would have put him up. The Heat have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Hunter passes to Conley. Pass to Wade. Who poked away. A deep three. It's rebounded by Olajuwon. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there. And that, uh, that's unfortunate. 
I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he First takes the hit. Foul. Second team foul. Miami's gone one for three second from downtown here in the second. Pass to Wood. Good D by Kessler. Oklahoma City has gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Hayward, the pass to Hardaway. Oubre on the wing. Let's it go from deep. Bassey pulls it in. Bassey's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Wade. And he slams it in one-handed. Dying by Morris, showing his willing to share the ball. And Hayward has got the ball here for OKC. Now a timeout call Time. by Oklahoma City. Oklahoma well, we City. always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. Yeah. And then they do a great job of starving you during the year. And what I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat. And that includes playing time. have led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. Miami in second. Well, it was a big focal point for them last season, making good on their trips from the free throw line. position is yes, definitely their philosophy BA. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Oubre, the more he plays and gets into a rhythm, you start to see some of that confidence that's going to help out the team. He ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Well, Brent, this Thunder team is so young, but poised to be a factor now. How much does the playing experience factor in for these young guys? Well, I think it's huge, B.A. They're going to be hungry. It's so crucial for young players because the next time that they're there, it's not going to be the first time. So this team is going in the right direction. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The Heat have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Here's Wade, guarded by Hayward. Here's Bassey. Here's Wade. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. Hayward outside. Pass to Kessler. 
We've got a minute 48 left in the first half. Some solid D from Wood. To the inside. Wade, that's good. Wade's got seven now in this quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. And here's Oubre. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Oubre's got five. Well, Oubre has the height right there to get it done and uses it well as he's able to score inside. Wade, the pass to Wood. The steal! And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, Devin Vassell's game is more varied than he's given credit for. He said, quote, when I first got drafted, 3 and D was the label, but I'm more than that. I excel at all three levels, but people throw labels around, and it's fine with me. At the end of the day, I just try and hoop and hoop people around. Right? That's all it takes. He's a man on a mission. Thanks, Allie. Vassell, he's checked in for Miami. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. For Miami, they've gone 6 of 14 in the second quarter. Here's Wood. Goes back up. Kessler with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten 7 of 13 attempts to go here in the second. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good and he'll go to the line. First personal foul. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. At the line for the Thunder, Michich, one. So Morris will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Seven-point differential. Following this one, they host the Trailblazers. That'll conclude their longest homestand of the season. Five games. And Vassell, the bucket, on the assist for Morris. The team counts on Vassell for this, a reliable producer of three-point buckets. Seconds left in the first half of this one. Down to five on the shot clock. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They've got to get up a shot. With the ability to block a shot on one end, nail a three-pointer on the other, Wood gives you exactly what you want out of a modern big. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Thunder out front. They lead by four. And we'll be back with you shortly. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Jamal Murray has been the story in this game. He had 13 points and two assists. This has been a bounce-back game for him after some struggles there last time. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand the game. They're making strong decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout-out to the playmaker. This team's success is because of you, brother. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting the time to rebound really lifted them. Strong work on the glass is key, because that's how you string together a series of big stops. And that's going to do it for us here. Second half of action is coming your way.
second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's Conley. And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. Kyle Kuzma out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's Murray, and it's Olajuwon in at the five, down low. And here's Hardaway. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet to the paint. Olajuwon can't get it to go. Miami trailing. Outside Conley. Hunter on the wing. The free ball. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got three assists in the game. Well, their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. It's so much fun getting to watch Sabonis go to work inside. And you're going to get a double-double pretty much any night from him. The points are always there, and he can rebound with the best of them. Sabonis, a force in the NBA. And here are the Heat now. The Thunder making their last shot. Wade, that's good. And while Wade doesn't pull the floater out all that often when he does, it's usually pretty silky smooth. Hardaway, the pass to Murray. To the middle. Here's Olajuwon. And he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, we'll have to settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Robin. And Miami again with the bucket. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Kuzma with the ball. And Sabonis picks him up defensively. Deflected! Conley against Murray. Robin. And he takes that one up and powers it through. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade, kindly plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. Now here's Vucevic. Pass to Hardaway. Let's go with a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Hardaway's got five points now in the quarter. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Hunter up top over Murray. And there's Hunter on the assist by Sabonis. Hunter. Sabonis has got his third assist of the night. Oklahoma City has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Kuzma against Hunter. Olajuwon controls the rebound and the putback. Olajuwon. And the Thunder lead by two. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Wade misses. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. Kuzma outside. Off the mark there with a three. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, D.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Here's Murray following the bucket by the Heat. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question.
got a chance to break down where the assists have been coming tonight between the front court and back court for Oklahoma City. And give a lot of credit to how well the guards have played. Getting creative with the Rock and using their playmaking skills to their advantage. It's something they want to maintain moving forward. Kuzma outside. Here's Vucevic. Miami grabs the miss. Rodman's got five rebounds tonight. Second shot opportunity. Here's the Lajuan. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Hunter with the ball. He's got 11. It's a bonus. The pass to Rodman. Shot clock at six. Here's Hunter, and again it's Miami converting. He could be dangerous in the pick and roll situation with that size. Hunter can't make the defense lay off him for long. Hardaway finds Murray. On the wing, Kuzma. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. That's foul number two for him. And great job to establish position and square up. Massey, he's checked in for Miami. Vassell comes in for Wade. And Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Hayward's checked in. Hardaway against Conley. Here's Sabonis. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now here's Conley. He's got six. Down low. Sabonis can't hit. Oklahoma City's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Murray, no good. And so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid straight up and in. The shot by Conley, no good. Oklahoma City has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. On the wing, Murray. Back to Hardaway. Driving inside. It's deflected. Vassell with it. He's picked up by Hardaway. Conley passes to Vassell. Pass to Hunter. For the lead. Knocks down the triple. Hunter's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Here's Hardaway on target from about 13 feet. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. you got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Checked in for Oklahoma City. Eubanks comes in for Vucevic. Now here's Morris. No made baskets yet. One forty-one left in the third. Vassell outside. Over Murray. Got a piece of it. Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. Hayward to pass to Hardaway to the middle. Here's Kessler. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Thunder lead by one. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Now here's Vassell. Shot's blocked. 
to Hardaway. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. And it's a three-point Thunder lead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Oklahoma City? Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. And it's the Thunder with the ball. The Heat making their last shot. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. To the paint. Oh, they pick off the pass. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Now, sometimes there's passes and then there's precision passes. Jamal Murray with one of those there. Miami has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Hayward against Hunter. And the game's still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Thunder out front, up by three. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for quarter number four. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. This has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. They've got DeAndre Hunter, and it's Bassey in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the Heat. Now here's Hardaway. Clock at six. Here's Olajuwon. Puts the move on, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And it's the Heat with the ball. Inside. Passy, good. Cutting into this lead. They're well within striking distance. They're just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. Here's Kuzma, and the basket is good. Kuzma. And the Thunder lead by three. Man, that's now ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Man. Here's Rodman, covered by Vucevic. Pass to Wade. Over Murray. Just five on the clock. Wade misses. Oklahoma City has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Out to the right wing. Unloads from 13. Again, <laughs> Oklahoma City. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Good. He's been great in this one. Nine for 15 after that shot. Outside Murray. Here's Olajuwon. Ooh, a two-handed power slam. Oh, 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 my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. Now here's Hunter. That's tipped to the inside. Robin. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. 
terrific basketball from Wade there to thread the pass to the wide open man for the clean look. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. checked in for Oklahoma City. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. Coach was urging his team to play strong defense, reminding them no easy hoops. Give effort and help when needed. They do say defense wins championships. Guys. Thank you for that, Allie. Now here's Conley. Now here's Hunter. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. And it's now only a one-point under lead. You could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find it. Now here's Hardaway. He's closely guarded. Murray passes to Vucevic. Goes up on the baseline. Chalk up two there. Using balance and fundamentals. Vucevic can hit shots despite tight defense. Pass to Rodman. Hunter against Kuzma. Now here's Sabonis. Back to Hunter. Sabonis finds Hunter. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Olajuwon's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Kuzma, the pass to Hardaway. Here's Vucevic. Called in by the Heat. You gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's Hunter. Here's Sabonis, and that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. Hardaway, the pass to Murray. Outside Hardaway. On the wing, Wade, defended by Hardaway. Wade, that's good. The green Wade has taken thousands of shots where he's been challenged and has made it just like that. Kuzma drives in. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Alright guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far from Miami? Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. That's good from Kuzma. And Kuzma, one of those forwards that can kind of go between. Plays the four or the small forward. And that's impressive versatility from this young player. Gordon Hayward, he's checked in for Murray. And he can't hit the second. 
a shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. And that's why this team turns to Dwayne Wade in times of crisis. And the Thunder in possession here. Trailing by two. Kuzma against Hunter. An easy two on the layup. Kuzma. Kuzma's got five points in the quarter. And Kuz on the cruise with that bucket. Here's Wade, guarded by Hayward. Outside Conley. Back to Wade. Six to shoot. Shoots. And there are the Heat with another bucket. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. All for the Thunders. game and I'll tell you what this was one easy pick for sure from the start he looked in total control for the entire game it's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court and so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for the Thunder They got the rebound. Not an easy rebound at all. But when you win that kind of battle, it gets your blood pumping. Pass to Rodman. Here's Wade, defended by Hardaway. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. This is why Dwayne Wade has been the superstar. He has been farm and hoop on that play. Now at the line, Wayne Wade. The and one puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a play. For Oklahoma City, they've got five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Sabonis. On defense, the Heat. Here's Olajuwon. Awesome defense on that play from Dwayne Wade. He doesn't give any room to breathe out there to the opposition. Hunter can't get it to go. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley-oop on top, hammer it home. Assistance to A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Here's Wade, guarded by Hayward. Finals high post. The Thunder pull it in. Olajuwon's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Hayward outside. A minute 
four left in the game. Pass to Kuzma. Five on the clock. Puts up a three. Oklahoma City gets it back. Great positioning on the putback. And it's now only a one-point Miami lead. Hey, that's great work on the glass. That kind of hustle play can energize your team. Here's Wade. And that's out of bounds. Miami will keep it. Miami ball. is up. Hardaway grabs the board. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. It's a one-point game. That's to Olajuwon. Now Vucevic. Shot clock at six. Here's Kuzma. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the lead get anything going during the second. Yeah, it's just a plus foul situation to stop the clock. Now the line. Brian Wade. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. And the Thunder call time here. They're down by three. There's 14 seconds left in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. Hardaway, no good. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter. Definitely respecting the shooting goal. So the first one drops. And that gives him a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. And it's a five-point game. All but over now. Those free throws help seal the deal. Kuzma for three. Unable to get that one. So the Heat win it. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Thank you. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching.
Let's start with Fastlane Van in the wreck. Count the crossovers with me here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then zips the ball to the corner three. When time is short, why not ride in the fast lane? Vroom, vroom, stellar setup. Over to DB in the theater. Steals the ball, leads the break, and drops a left-handed behind the back pass to the wide open three. It's NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark. So a look at our starters for the next... They've got Horford, Murray out there with LeBron James, and there's Pokushevsky, and it's Anthony in at the threesome. 
And for Milwaukee, Jaden McDaniels is out there with Wembenyama. Then it's Kareem, and it's Alex Caruso. And it's Peyton in at the point. Caruso finds Wembenyama. And Greg will be tip off a new season. It's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. And Anthony gets it to go. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Peyton passes to Wembanyama. Now here's Caruso. Puts up a three. They get it back. You know, the size of that dude, Jabbar, typically overwhelms defense, especially when he's operating close to the rim, forcing him to act as he draws the foul. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And it's something they know that if they improve, can really have a big impact on their success. The free throw drops for Abdul Jabbar. Absolute heartbreak, Clark, for the Bucks last year in the postseason. You're right, Kevin. It was a shocker to see the Bucks go down in the first round as the one seed. And Miami really handled them, too. Knocked them out of there in five games. The Heat played with a lot of energy, got contributions from a lot of different players, and key defensive stops with a balanced attack did Milwaukee in. A towering presence on both ends. Abdul-Jabbar is also known for his unblockable and most unique sky hook. LeBron Such an impactful, unique big man, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Al Payton. Wembenyama looking it over. There's McDaniels. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Murray against Payton. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Gary Payton. Dante Murray does a nice job using that long frame of his to attract contact from the defense and still get it done. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Caruso, the pass to Wembanyama. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And here's James, he'll bring it up for the Knicks. This time they met in New York. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. Well, I think it was a combination of things, quite honestly, but the defense didn't really offer them a challenge all night. I agree with that. And they've been getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the football. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Anthony kicks to Horford. That one falls coming off oh, Anthony's feet. How about three, three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Peyton passes to Wembanyama. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. The Bucks working the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's blocked. Anthony looking it over. The jump hook uses the glass that time, and it's good. Boy, they're on fire right now, cooking with gas, starting this one out 4-5. or five. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Bucks, Trailing by five. Good on the bucket. Yeah. Oh, how about Gary Payton? Silky look, working his way in close to the basket to make sure he got what he wanted in close. Murray, the pass to Pikachevsky. Takes it off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. James against Payton. Pass to Caruso. Back to Payton.
The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's length really makes him a threat on the offensive glass. And finished off by Horford. Oh, Horford. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this time out, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. Give them a round of applause. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. Second is Al Horford. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. And cool Jabbar. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Boy, Jabbar able to read exactly where that miss was coming off and then slams it down. Beautiful timing. LeBron against Peyton. Here's Pakusevsky. And the three off target. Bucks trailed by three. Here's Caruso. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. And yeah, there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. James finds Pokushevsky. Orford high post. Anthony with it. And Abdul Jabal picks him up defensively. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee it was a loss to the Pelicans in New Orleans. Caruso looking for an opening. Peyton with the ball. Shot clock at six. Here's Caruso. A miss that time. Would have put him up. LeBron outside. Outside Anthony. Passes it to Murray. Shoots over McDaniel. Murray, good. Murray's got those rush hour handles, boy. It's so much fun seeing him pull off those tricky moves like this. Caruso, the pass to Abdul Jabal. Pass to Peyton. But three. Offensive rebound. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. The line for the next. They look strong here in the early going. Yeah, okay. And now the NBA's all-time leading scorer. But LeBron did something most people thought would never be done. I'm in that camp, Greg. I tell you. Kareem was my guy. He was my idol as I was growing up. I never thought his record would be surpassed. It just shows you how remarkable LeBron has been in his production, in preparation, in taking care of his body. And this guy is still going strong. That makes him the king. We're always hearing the debate, who is the greatest of all time? Well, Clark, do you think passing Kareem's all-time scoring mark? Finally puts LeBron out in front. Kevin, that in and of itself puts LeBron in rarefied air, no doubt. But when you're talking about the greatest player of all time, we all have our opinion. It's just so hard, I think, to effectively debate players across different eras. I just say there have been a ton of great players throughout the history of the game, and LeBron is certainly at the top of the list, no matter when he played. Not Joe in it from deep. Carries it from three-point range. Now listen, if you're seven foot and can shoot two, there's a place for you in today's NBA. Olenek has that rare combination. Bucket is good. Murray's got six. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that. Olenek the pass to Hernan Gomez. Pass to DiVincenzo. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place.
place. Hey, you you know, be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And that one misses. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Oh, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. That chess match is where they hope to improve. Catching up on the changes for New York, Wiggins is checked in for Anthony. De'Aaron Fox comes in for Murray, and Jones subbed in for James. And the second free throw, good. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. On the wing, Johnson, covered by Wiggins. Johnson, the pass to Abdul-Jabbar. He nails it, and we're tied up. He's got seven. I think this is where you give Abdul-Jabbar the ball and just watch him do his thing. So hard to stop inside. Back to Wiggins. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. 27 seconds left here in the first quarter. against to win it. Back to DiVincenzo. Over Jones. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. DiVincenzo's got the game tied up here for the Bucks. Fox deciding where to go with it. From the arc. And no good that time. And so the first quarter comes to a close. Both teams scoring well, but it's all tied up. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. 22. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one just cashing in on second chance opportunities that's how they built this early lead Boy, grinding it out on the glass they've really been working for those points but it's shooting is beautiful right now 60% for the game pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it so with Anthony sitting on the bench Here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Jones is up there with De'Aaron Fox. Then there's Horford. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. And it's Pokushevsky in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Caruso against Fox. Outside, Jones. Over Peyton. It's deflected. And it's out of bounds to New York. They'll return possession. The Knicks making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Four on the clock. Fox from outside. New York, no good that time either. And I don't like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in the post game. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Caruso against Fox. 
here's Peyton. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Caruso against Fox. Stolen away. Caruso, the pass to Peyton. And Benyama outside. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. A nice shot by McDaniel. Attacking right away. McDaniel's wasting no time there. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrich. Well, DeJounte Murray grew up in South Seattle. He said a lot of stuff goes on. It was rough. But NBA veteran and fellow Rainier Beach graduate Jamal Murray tried to help him. Murray says he always stayed positive with me and my family. I'd say that kid has a chance. And every summer we play pickup. I knew I could be okay if I stayed working. Kevin? And he did. DA, thanks so much for the report. Yeah, things not going their way and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. A different look for New York. Murray comes in for Fox, and Gene sub in for Jones. Now here's James. In the game against Toronto, very impressive. Anthony kicks to LeBron. Five on the clock. This one for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. Five. LeBron James. Second personal foul. This first is his first foul. free throw of the game. At the line for two, Gary Payton. And he makes the first. You know, we don't talk about defense a ton, especially with guards. But Gary Payton, he can change a game with his deep. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Knicks trailed by seven. Anthony on the wing. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Bucks have done a nice three or three to start the second. On the wing, Peyton. Covered by LeBron. Offline from the top of the key. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Anthony, the pass to Parkerset. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Pakrushevsky's got his second bucket of the night. Nice find that time from Carmelo. We know he's a score, but that time did a good job finding the open teammate. Eight in the bounce pass. And a wide open look for Ben Benyama. Milwaukee, no good that time either. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Rembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But he is. What's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be far. And you don't ever want to get into the head of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. The Knicks have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts at this point. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line and you know whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line they would immediately take a step back and the first one drops
And both free throws good for Pokushevsky. Bucks leading by three. And it looks oh, like the oh. illegal kick was set. Oh, yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Beyond the lead, you can see his feet were set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Abdul Jabbar has checked in for Goga Vitanzi. Murray outside. Pass to Pikersevsky. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Abdul Jabbar. And Abdul Jabbar throws it down. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers represents so much value to this team because of what he does. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Anthony finds Murray. And it's tonight, and they recover it. Kept alive. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Passes to Abdul Jabal. Akuzemski grabs the miss. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And that sends Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to the free throw line. That one on Horford. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. Some changes here for the Bucks. Bringing Gomez is checked in for Victor Wembenyama. Johnson comes in for McDaniel. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Gary Payton. And then for New York. Neesmith comes in for Al Horford. And Andrew Wiggins is subbed in for Anthony. Free throw drops for Abdul Jabbar. And here's James, he'll bring it up for the Knicks. Seven point differential. That'll be the third game of this three game road trip. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two and minutes. he's going up for the alley oop. Even Genzo against LeBron. Count the basket. Even Genzo's got five points so far. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Russo against Murray. That one off the back iron and out. It's been a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumping. Really good point. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside creates space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside so it works hand in glove. Shot clock at five. Here's Caruso. Here's Abdul Jabbar. And Kareem throws it down. Well, you got to bring more energy than this. Abdul Jabbar isn't easily going to be thrown off by a little contact. Abdul Jabbar is not going to be thrown off much by a little contact. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. You can see the coach very displeased with their defensive effort on the glass. They're giving up a bunch of second chance points. They got to get that corrected.
also changing it up. De'Aaron Fox has checked in for Murray. And Jones subbed in for LeBron. Johnson against Wiggins. 52 seconds left to play in the first half. Okuszewski in the corner. And that comes off the Election assist by Jones. Okuszewski's got 10 points in the quarter. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. And here is Olenek. Now DiVincenzo. Five on the clock. Here's Ron Gomez. Got a hand on it. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. To the middle. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. To the inside. And Kareem throws it down. Boy, Lou Jabbar just showing off that smooth offensive game he had. It's tough to handle his combination of size, skill, and agility. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And that concludes the first half. The Bucks on top. They finish off the second quarter with a 13-3 run. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Alongside Coach Thibodeau, Tip, some stuff to clean up. What will the points of emphasis be going into the second half? Better defense. We keep allowing them to get second shots. Defensive transition. Not challenging their shots properly. So we don't play defense, we can't win. And we'll see if your guys can stick to the script better in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period, five points, their largest deficit. They really poured it on in the second quarter, building the lead to 10 points. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. The difference so far has been the efficiency of the offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every position count. And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Knicks' first half. You can point to their long-range shooting as a main problem. They're taking a lot of threes, and their percentage is hovering in the low 30s. That's too cold. 30 degrees, you need a jacket for that. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Really an incredible game from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Knicks trail by 10. And Ben Yama's out there with Abdul Jabbar. And it's Alex Caruso. Then there's Pink. And it's the Daniels up the three. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The Knicks are one of the most efficient offensive teams in the league, and that, of course, starts with getting the right looks. Coach Tom Thibodeau says we know what the value shots are. If you don't have one, how can you help create one? Whether that's attacking the rim, screen off the ball, do things that can help us create the shots that I have high value. Kevin? Yeah, a disciplined approach. David, thanks. 
They get the rebound. The shot by Abdul Jabbar, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Caruso, no good. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. Murray surveying the D. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Ouch. Five shots without a bang. That's a really great start. You know, once Kareem establishes that inside position, dunking is really easy for him. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. Pass to Wembanyama. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And a look here at the scoring trend over the last several months for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's really been a nice trend for him over those, these last several months. He's been steadily improving in terms of his scoring output. That extra production making him more valuable the further we get along in this season. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. For Paul Kruszewski. Now let's check out some stats for Horford. Good season for him last year. Was in at about nine points per. Six rebounds and three assists. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench. And, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game momentum can be going one way, then bang. The scoring turns the time. Murray gets to Anthony. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Wimbanyama. And he trucks it in from the low post. Wimbanyama has got the lead up to 14 now for Milwaukee. He gets taken away by Peyton. And the pass to Caruso. Shoots the three. Peyton. Good. Peyton's got 10. This totals have just continued to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Caruso against Murray. Outside, Payton puts one up from 19. They get it back. Yeah, the defender all over. He got it good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Bucks have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. For Milwaukee, when Van Yama, two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Bucks making a switch here. Hitadze's checked in. Oh, 
and both free throws good for Wen Benyama. Knicks trail by 17. Not loose. And they're on the break. Here's Peyton. Finish off the break. Peyton's got five points now in the quarter. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. LeBron kicks to Horford. Buries the long-range jumper. Oh, Horford. Horford's got eight points. You know, it's been a nice evolution to see the three-point shot become a consistent part of what Horford brings to his team. Eaton passes to Caruso. Back to Payton. Pass to Caruso. Shot block at three. That's good. And it's Payton with the assist. Payton's got three assists in the game. James against Payton. James right side. Basket good. Number Easy to down. see how locked in LeBron is. Get some contact on the shot, but never even phased by it. Caruso with the ball. He has seven. To the wing right side. Fires it up. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. New York calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. And it's Johnson in for McDaniels. And a new group in for the Knicks. Neesmith, he's checked in for Horford. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Anthony. Fox, he's checked in for Murray. And Tyus Jones subbed in for James. And give Fox some love there. The, the D wasn't that bad, but he was just focused on finishing that one. Caruso finds Peyton. Kicks it out to Johnson. Passes it to Caruso. Shoot again, and Hernan Gomez finishes it off. And Gomez has got his first bucket of the night. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. From 12 feet out, and it's Wiggins missing. Boy, oh, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Peyton, that's good. Peyton's got seven now in this quarter. Hey, really earning those two battling successfully. Two minutes. Peyton against Jones. Two minutes. From down in the low post, it goes. Now oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Pass to Caruso. Back to Peyton. Nice ball movement by Noah. Caruso against Fox. Caruso, no good. 
And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second personal. Now we have a chance. Let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. Bucks number one in third, the Knicks. Two shot. I mean, these clubs are almost a mirror image of one another in that regard. You look at the rebounding numbers, really impressive just how physically dominant they both are in the paint. And he can't get the first one. And Fox has a lot of game. I mean, really good at distributing the ball, getting into the lane, and getting his guys involved. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Goga Bitadze. Oh, when it comes in for Alex Caruso. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Peyton. Bucks leading by 18. The pass to Hernan Gomez. Back to DiVincenzo. That three off the mark. New York's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Fox passes to Parker Shepsky. Here's Neesmith. That one go. He's counted. Neesmith has got his first two points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. A three from DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. You know, in that first half, a lot more three-point shooting. Since then, though, they've dialed it back. Fox passes to Neesmith, and the layup's are good off the glass. Neesmith has got four points this quarter. Boy, an excellent recognition from Fox there. Outstanding at recognizing when his guys are open. That's to DiVincenzo. There's 18 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Next trail by 16. Outside, Fox. He squares up and sinks it. And Fox. Fox has got five now. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. Back to the action in just a minute. 50. And now we take a listen into the recent huddle from Tom Thibodeau. That's what it means to easy down there. It's too easy. Get the ball in front. Challenge shot. Long rebound. Hard. You gotta get the elbow. Defense is so important to him, and he's not seeing it from his squad right now. Lackluster. And you know, Kevin, that's not gonna sit well for Coach Tim. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, we've got Murray. Anthony is out there with Horford. And there's Pokushevsky. And it's LeBron at the point. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot. And you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper oh, into a tough one. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. That's the DiVincenzo. And it's sent back by Horford. Horford relentless as a defender in good position. That shot never had a chance. Controlling the defensive glass has been a problem here tonight. Big difference in second chance points. That makes it tough. Milwaukee leading by 14. 
just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Olenek, and it's sent back by Horford. They retain possession. Here's Murray on the wing, James. Oh, good with the triple. For Milwaukee, they've got one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. McDaniels passes to DiVincenzo. And Benyama outside. Here's Olenek and the rejection by LeBron. What timing by James on the denial. His hand is right there at the exact LeBron moment James. it needs to be. Well, it could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Timeout. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort and see how it works out. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. Knocks it loose. Caruso against Murray. 11 feet away, Caruso, no good. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Deep two from Anthony, and a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Milwaukee leading by 11. Now, here's Peyton. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ben Benyama. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York on Friday. They'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the San Antonio Spurs. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And here is Murray with the drive down low. Here's Pakusevsky. Another shot. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Orford doing a nice job playing with strength. That's what they call weight room work that time to get the hoop and the foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. Well, you look at Horford, and he scores, rebounds, passes, and defends at a high level. That's why he's had the career he's had. Creighton outside. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Creighton's got nine points here in the second half. Now James. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And such a physical player inside. LeBron doesn't fear contact on the way up. Free 
throw drops for James. Now over two decades playing in the league, LeBron James continues to play at an amazing level. Remarkable. That one is no good. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. That's been the key to this league. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Caruso against Anthony, and the call will be against Al Horford. Al Horford. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Peyton. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Count it. And the Bucks lead by 11. Well, I tell you what, this coach loves having Gary Payton run the offense. He's a pass first point guard for sure. Here's LeBron. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. It's the Knicks now. James in the post. Peyton's there. A massive wingspan of Abdul Jabbar. And that's Kareem easily spotting away shots. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Boy, he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul. Boy, it would have been nice to get an and one there. First one falls for him. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. And both free throws good for Abdul Jabbar. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Nick Daniels with the ball. Now Anthony defending. Nick Daniels passes to Caruso. This is to Abdul Jabbar. Back to Caruso. Yep, that one goes in there. And the Bucks lead by 15. And you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Marie finds Pokushevsky. That's good. Basket number five and a five for eight night shooting. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Eaton passes to run by Yama. He gets that one. You have to love the approach Eaton takes to the game. You're an exceptional passer who does a great job with distributing the basketball. Dion Fox has checked in for the next. His fifth personal foul. Third team foul. We throw no good for Ren Benyama. And so Horford will bring it up for New York. Down by 15. And Fox has it in the corner. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Man, I tell you what, when Fox is making threes, he's hard to guard. That's a part of his game he's got to continue to work on. Peyton kicks to Caruso. And Benyama outside. It's rebounded by New York. Horford's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Anthony. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Oh, great job by Anthony. Keeping his balance, not allowing the contact to stop him from scoring. Bucks leading by 10. And Benyama. 
Adama outside. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Kuzevsky grabs the miss. Kuzevsky's got six rebounds now in the game. LeBron kicks to Fox. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at 46%, making some buckets. To the paint, here's Abdul Jabbar, and he converts the layup. Abdul Jabbar's got 26. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. Fox, no good. And the activity he shows around the ground is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. And Abdul Jabbar gets it to go. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots ball. at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by 14. 112 left in the game. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. Fox from outside. Good on the three-point shot. Fox has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for New York. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. You know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. He makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Yeah, they built a lead that simply can't be overcome at this point. So it would be a nice dub for Milwaukee. This is a game where the defense, you know, steals specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort a big part of what will be a nice victory for the game. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem, he was aggressive rebounding the ball tonight. I think his aggressiveness on the glass helps set the tone. Shooting for New York, Carmelo Anthony. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And, you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release, an elite score. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. That they have earned this win. Fox again to win it. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I, mean, I think they built off that edge of being here and playing with a little more confidence in their opponent. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Mark Kellogg, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.
Next play is from Fish in the wreck. Shows the back down, then slings the ball to the corner jumper. That behind the back shovel works great here. I wonder if it works on yard work. Our final play is from hashtag trip. After a spin sends the long pass to the triple. Defense was not ready and the big makes the a festive atmosphere inside the building. As we bring... You try to a look at the starting group for the Pelicans. Maxi out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Jason Tatum. And for Minnesota, we've got Smith. Tyler Hero is out there with Johnson. And it's Irving in at the small forward position. Ooh, you gotta love the optimism of opening day, Smitty. Every team is undefeated. I love it. Blue sky, a world of possibilities. You can feel the excitement, not just among the players, but the coaches and fans as well. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Hero with it. And looks like an illegal pick was set against the ref's attention. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Here's Tatum. Robinson with the block. To the paint. And there's Smith. That one's good. On the assist by Irving. And there's the length of Smith at work. Playing big on the interior. Simmons, the pass to Tatum. Maxi on the wing. Down low. Gilmore, no good. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And it's Irving missing. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on JaVale McGee. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Smitty, the injury bug has really played havoc with the Pelicans in the past. They have, B.A., and a lot of people have wondered what their past couple of seasons would have looked like if they'd been able to stay at full strength. But all you can do is look ahead and hope for the best. He's off on the first. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west.
Scotty sinks the second. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's a three-point game. Last time they met was in Minneapolis, where they beat the Timberwolves. And they really threw their weight around last time. They got to the free throw line a lot, and it helped secure the win. They forced the issue and made the defense pack them to death last game. I'm sure they'll try to mirror that same attack in this one. Now here's Smith. Pass to Hero. Good work there as it goes. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Here's Tatum. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Falls for Tatum. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. Hero, the pass to Smith. Launches it. Sinks it from distance. Smith's got his second bucket on the night. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. The big man's got handles. I mean, you know, sometimes you can forget that Simmons is a good ball handler. Pass to Hero. A perfect night so far. Two for two. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. Now here's Simmons. Shoots over Robinson. Here's Gilmore. Lays it up and banks it in. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Here's Hero. Smith outside. Pass to Johnson. This one for three. Here's Robinson. And there's two. Work on the glass, man. Off that time. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Tatum, coming off a 31-point game. The athletic swing man. I love whenever Tatum goes up with force off the drive. Inside, there's Hero. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo! Woo! Now here's Irving. Unloads from 13. It's not going to go for him. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Outside Simmons. Pass to Tatum. Back to Simmons. Here's McGee. Five to shoot. He's now one for two with that bucket. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Hero, the pass to Smith. Puts it up from 12. Ben Simmons grabs the board. And Simmons has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by three. Excellent D there from Hero. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And he can play the bully ball inside. Smith Jr., he knows how to use his size and frame. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Timberwolves? They're unselfish. They're passing the ball well, setting up teammates, playing team basketball, and they're focused. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've 
really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. And he makes it first. And when you talk about guys who are built for the modern game, add Smith's name to that list. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Plumlee's checked in for Robinson, and Washington is subbed in for Irving. Both shots good from the strike. And the number three pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, Smith Jr.'s ceiling is considered to be very high. Here's the sumo. And there's the call on Mason Public. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Boucher's checked in for Smith. Passes to Vanderbilt. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to DeSumo. Kennard outside. Over Washington. And again, New Orleans, no good. Listen, that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. The Smitty Luke Kennard doesn't have a complete game. But his shooting is elite. Yes, B.A., as a knockdown shooter, he is one of the best in the business. When he gets it going, he gets very you with his triple. He's such a ferocious player. Westbrook nearly snapped the rim that time. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point land so far. Johnson passes to Boucher. Pass to Hero. There's the triple. Sure, for three-point range. Hero's got 11 points. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Westbrook taking his time here. Here's Sharp. He's checked by Plumley. And that one's good. Sharp. They have no answer defensively inside. Westbrook. Minnesota has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Johnson. Got a piece of it. To the middle. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Oh, there's the alley! For a number of seasons, Russell Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Minnesota in the lead. Hero outside. Pass to Boucher. The three is up. The trains the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Pelicans have got eight of 15 shots to go. Down low. Here's Kennard. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. Hero, the pass to Boucher. Back to Hero. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Well, the Pelicans shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. The Sumo doesn't go that time. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Thirty-two seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Hero. Six on the shot clock. Vanderbilt with the block. Here's the break. And the basket by Nusumu. You do this as well as Westbrook. He consistently finds ways to set up his guys. Outside Johnson. And there's the call on Mason Publi. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for each of the Wolves. No fear. Kane Cunningham. And so it's Minnesota closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
if you're just joining us. We played through one quarter in this one. All right, let's quickly break down the game, what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. And that has helped them build an advantage here, playing with good focus and good energy. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Pelicans. Seven-point differential. Cunningham is out there with DeAnthony Melton. Then it's Jabari Smith, and it's Robinson in at the center position, locking down the middle. So that's the Timberwolves' five. Clock at six. Pass to Gilmore. That one doesn't drop. Good work defensively by Robinson. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Ben Simmons has dealt with injuries, yes, but the mental aspect is also one that he's working on. He said, quote, being assertive and aggressive, I know who I am. I know I need to get to the rim and get buckets, and that's also going to help my teammates and get them going. Brian, they are all about regaining that confidence. Such a key right now. Thanks, Alec. Good stuff there. So, Grant, if you were a GM and you could choose one young player to build around, who would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, B.A., I, I think you have to go with Victor Wimbanyama. I know he's a young fella. He just got drafted. But the upside is so huge for this young man. His talent, his skill, his size. He is the next iteration of Kevin Durant, in my opinion. And I would go with him. He's got a lot of runway in front of him. A lot of years to get better, get stronger, and to win championships. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Tatum. Maxi with it. The three is up. Rebound Minnesota. Robinson's got rebound number five here tonight. Smith in the high post. Melton with the ball. Irving looking around. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. At the ball for the Pelicans, Westbrook taking two shots. throw is good you know intensity is what makes Russell Westbrook so special he's relentless and it's difficult for even great players to keep up with him and so Westbrook nails both of them quarter two in about two minutes in Minnesota's gone three or four from distance in this game. Cunningham passes to Irving. Offensive rebound, Timberwolves. Robinson gets the bucket. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. New Orleans calls timeout. Our 2K leaderboard, 
focusing on last year's three-point shooting leaders. You look at Kennard, he is downright lethal from distance, ranking first in the league in three-point percentage. And of course, Tyrese Maxey, he's right there with those guys. Another guy who is lights out beyond the arc. It was fun watching both of these guys tear it up from downtown. It just seemed like any chance they got to take the deep ball, they took the shot without hesitation. I just love the confidence. Here's Gilmore. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Simmons against Cunningham. Pass to Irving. That has to be encouraging. Sinking one after missing his first five. Beautiful pass at his size. Cunningham sees the whole floor. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Outside Maxi launches a three. They get it back. There's Gilmore. And the Pelicans get another bucket right there. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Outside Irving for three. That one no good. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. And Simmons, here we go. And McGee with the stuff. Terrific playmaking from Simmons. Getting the ball into his hands off a wide open shooter. Belton passes to Smith. And the layup falls. Smith's got nine points. Excellent move to score the basketball despite a weak pick. Simmons against Cunningham. Now here's Simmons. The D's right on him. And he missed again. Now one of five. To the inside. That one's good from Melton. On the assist by Irving. And the Timberwolves lead by five. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Simmons, the pass to McGee. Outside Tatum. There's Maxey, plenty of space. And Cunningham pulls it down. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Smith passes to Robinson. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. And you can see Smith has the vision. Now, it'll be interesting to watch that part of his game continue to develop. Pass to McGee. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Timberwolves. Here's a look at what's coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Saturday, they go back home and will be hosting the Boston Celtics. Then on Monday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Phoenix Suns. And Minnesota has possession. Now here's Hero. He's got 13. Pass to Irving. Three-pointer. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Simmons, the pass to Sharp. Outside Vanderbilt. From deep, here's Simmons. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And Irving powers it home continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Back in 2017, two-way contracts started in the NBA, creating more opportunities for him. To be a Chris Boucher signing one of the first two ways back in 2017. I mean, he was a huge success story for this system. Chris signing a big contract during the 2022 free agency period. Now here's Johnson. We've got 155 left in the first half. Misses the step back jumper. New Orleans has gone one of four from three point land here in the second. Here's Tatum. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Robinson's got rebound number eight now. Johnson. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists tonight. 
Here's Simmons. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The analyzing combination of size and skill, Ben Simmons has to be a headache to guard. At the wrong for two. Minnesota. Plumley comes in for Robinson and Washington is subbed in for Irving. And the Pelicans also making a change. Kennard, he's checked in for Tatum. Good on the second one. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line. Johnson, hero outside. Washington outside. Six to shoot. Takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Simmons. And Hero grabs the board. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Jay outside. There's 45 seconds left in the second from Deep Johnson. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. To the paint. Here's Sharp. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Johnson passes to Boucher. And the three-pointer goes. Boucher's got six. So much versatility out of Boucher, showing the fast hands on that shot. Here's Simmons. And he can't get that one. Johnson finds Hero. Chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The shot won't fall. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. Or NBA on 2K Sports right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. Going swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Ernie Johnson, get you the jet. It's Minnesota out in front at the half. They have an eight-point lead. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone working in unison. Love to watch this brand of ball. So excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And uh, Kenny, what did you see from New Orleans? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the front. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Yeah, you think they played their best? No way, no way. A killer hero displaying all of his skills today. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. The Pelicans trail. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Jason Tatum. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's JaVale McGee. Now here's Simmons. Pass to McGee. Over Smith. Just four to shoot. McGee's shot is off. 
Minnesota shooting has been excellent so far, around 56%. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, the Pelicans have developed a tremendous chemistry. Coach Willie Green said, quote, all of those guys play the game the right way. They want to be unselfish and make sure their teammates are involved. We're really fortunate as a team that our top guys bring that mentality on a nightly basis. Right? Yeah, chemistry and leadership, they have it. Thanks, Allie. Free throw is good. Hero, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I'll tell you, he doesn't get points away. Excellent job from the line. Pass to Johnson. Back to Hero. There's the three. Rebounded by New Orleans. Second half getting started. About a minute play. Maxi. Yes. And that's Simmons with the assist. Simmons has got three assists now in this one. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. From 11 feet away, there's Gilmore. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Gilmore's got eight. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Throws it up high. Hammers the lob through. See, if there's anybody who can ignite a crowd with his dunks, it's Jabari. He throws him down with power. New Orleans calls timeout. from last NBA season, the leaders in team steals. Second, the Pelicans. Fifth best, Minnesota. Both teams were very aggressive defensively, and that led to a lot of steals and a lot of runouts. Westbrook with it, covered by Johnson. Robinson with the block! Hero against Westbrook. McGee with a steal. And here's Tatum. Seven points in the game. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Out of bounds. Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. Minnesota on D. 
Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Harassing defensively, Tyler Hero is a competitor who doesn't let his motor go cold. Here's Irving. And it gets out of here. Irving's got seven points. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Westbrook, the pass to Maxi. On the wing, Tatum. He's guarded by Irving. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Nine points in the game. The defense has to try to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. I mean, he's a dangerous player there on the inside. Robinson in the post. Called in by McGee. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Here's Gilmore. Give him eight points now. Here's Westbrook. Soft touch off the glass. Now just a two-point Minnesota lead. He thrives in that painted area. Westbrook has a lot of moves and different ways he can hurt you inside. Now here's Smith. 11 points in the game. Irving against Tatum. Called in by McGee. McGee's got rebound number five here tonight. For the tie, here's Maxi. And to die! He sends it right off the glass. Hero with it. 13 points in the game. Inside. Here's Robinson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First team foul. First team foul. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Timberwolves. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off transition play, running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense. That free throw misses. Melton, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Kate Cunningham comes in for Hero. And a change for the Pelicans. Vanderbilt's checked in. So he can't get either to fall. And it's Tatum with a ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Boy, absolutely no rim protection. Leading to a lot of easy buckets. Sharp, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. as the free throw drops in for him. The Timberwolves have got just two of six in the second half. Melton passes to Cunningham. Oh, the range of Cunningham! A strong part of Cunningham's game. He's got great range. New Orleans calls timeout.
the Pelicans making a switch here. Canards checked in. All right, let's look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Fifth, Jason Tatum. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. Timberwolves on D. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Back to Kennard. There's Tatum with the three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And it didn't register as an official block, but he did everything you want in disrupting that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Now here's Irving. Seven points in the game, and yep, it's good. Oh, good recognition from Smith Jr. Now, sensing the defense over commitment and punishing them for it. Westbrook outside. Pass to Gilmore. Hope loose. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Washington's checked in. The Timberwolves have gone four of eight in the third. Jack's up a three. He can't get that one to fall. For New Orleans, they've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Westbrook outside. Pass to Kennard. inside. Robinson with a steal. Washington passes to Cunningham to the paint. Here's Smith. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Cunningham against Westbrook. And he lobs it up top. Up high and down it goes on the lob. Westbrook will do whatever it takes to create for his team. The pick and roll is just one option. Melton passes to Smith. Back to Melton. Here's Robinson. Nice work on the boards, paying off for the basket. Robinson's got eight. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Pass to Kennard. Maxi serving. There's Tatum with the three. JT for three. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high-volume three-point shooter. Cunningham passes to Washington. Off target from three-point range. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. Here's Maxi. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Melton with the ball. He's picked up by Westbrook. Smith passes to Cunningham. Smith against Tatum. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. And so Cunningham will bring it up for the Timberwolves. Three-point lead. Melton passes to Cunningham. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Maxi. Shoots over Robinson. Robinson with the block. Here's Cunningham. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. He's the kind of player every team is looking for. Cunningham understands both how to move the ball and how to create for himself. down the first one. You know, this team leans on Kay Cunningham for so many things, and he's built to carry the load. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Cunningham. Five ticks left to play in the third quarter of basketball. The third quarter comes to a close. Timberwolves ahead. They lead by five. And will return shortly. 60. The Pelicans. 55. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Tyler Hero, also Cameron Johnson out there, and it's Robinson in at the four. So that's the Timberwolves five. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Physical defense, not a problem for Simmons. His strength is one of his assets. Now here's Johnson. To the middle. 11 feet out. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Gilmore's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Simmons. To the wing on the left. Just five to shoot. Fade away. McGee's shot is off. As usual, he's laser focused on defense. That's a nice shot contest. And this is where you would prefer to work the ball to someone else for just a better look. Well, some guys tend to shrink in big moments. Tyler Hero, not one of those guys. He believes in himself. This team believes in him. Whether it's a timely three, drive to the bucket, draw and dish, Tyler Hero makes winning plays. First one falls for him. You can easily understand on that play why many are excited by Tyler Hero. The kid's potential is impressive. He's perfect from the line this time. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. Johnson against Simmons. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on Mason Public. Well, Simmons' size and strength make him a tough cover inside. The defense gets sloppy, and of course they foul him. Throw no good. That one's no good. Minnesota in the lead. Hero outside. Pass to Johnson. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. And there's Hero. 
Long the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got six assists here tonight. Well, New Orleans shooting at about 44% so far. Now Tatum. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Oh, Tatum with the long distance answer. And both teams running long range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. That's the hero. The three. And another three for Minnesota. This is how Tyler Hero likes to roll. You got me, I'll get you back. Tatum to the rack. The putback. Boy, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Hero, the pass to Plumley. Johnson with it. The three connects from downtown. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Maxi. Buries it down low. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Now Plumley. Covered by McGee. Plumley against McGee. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Smith, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And the Pelicans also making a change. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Simmons. Yeah, just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Here's Hero. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they'll keep possession. Rebounded by New Orleans. Gilmore's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Johnson against Maxi. Oh, and Johnson with a block. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Hero, the pass to Irving. The shot misses. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. And when he was younger, Tatum would often try to do it all himself. But now he wants to keep everybody involved. So it's Minnesota now. After the Pelicans picking up the basket a moment ago, he buries it from three. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. Interesting approach coming down the stretch, looking to rack up points in chunks. Now here's Westbrook for three. Maxi, that's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Maxi's got five points now in the quarter. Hero against Westbrook. Outside Irving. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. They trail by seven. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. How about Tyler Hero displaying all of his skills today? Have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double. Whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. love how he was able to capitalize from beyond the arc. I mean, his ability to stretch out the defense was an important part of the team's success this evening. Wow, he really played phenomenal tonight. But we've almost come to expect that from him. He feeds off the energy from this crowd, and it certainly plays a part in elevating his game. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. Well, Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. He emphasized staying sharp the rest of the way, saying turnovers will kill us. We can close this gap if we take care of the ball. But don't try and overdo it. Let's send it back to you guys, Brian. Thanks for that, Allie. But when this team needs a bucket, it naturally looks for Jason Tatum. And he typically comes through. And Minnesota calls time here. 
And this late game timeout, getting a breather here, important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Cunningham against Westbrook. Pass to McGee. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. McGee's gotten four this quarter. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Cunningham passes to Smith. Outside Irving. From behind the arc. Rebounded by New Orleans. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Down low. It's stolen by Johnson. Coming in outside. To the paint. Here's Robinson. And rejected. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. Now here's Tatum. To tie it up. Hey, strong move, Tatum. Oh, the ball handling of Tatum. It's what separates him from other star wings. Coming in, looking it over. Draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Third personal foul. Second team foul. He gets the first, and that gives him a lead. <laughs> and so both free throws good, and it's a two-point ball game. No doubt about those free throws. This is why you put the ball in his hands. Tatum again serving. Tatum passes to Maxi. That ball. Nice feed that time from Tatum. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Now here's Robinson. Can't hit from in close. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Here's Cunningham. Gilmore grabs the miss. Well, if they score here, they could effectively end this one. Yeah, and their main objectives right now, taking care of the rock and using some time. Now here's Tatum. Shot clock at five. Over to the wing. New Orleans needs to hurry. They clock. And here's Westbrook from the arc. No good there. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. Your ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So 
So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. And that's a wrap. Those free throws being the nail in the coffin. And Minnesota calls time here. They're trailing by four. Eight seconds left in the game. Your thoughts, guys? An uphill battle for them. Everything has to go perfectly. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately five. Oh, he nails it! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one. The defender was pretty much helpless right there. This man had a clear height advantage, and he got the exact kind of shot he wanted. New Orleans calls timeout. They're ahead by one. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter of this one. situations like this one and so the big win by new orleans in a tight game with the late victory they upset plenty of these hometown fans they really should take this win to heart when the pressure was on they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. all right now let's check in with ali laforce ali what do you have Thank you. I'm here with Jason Tatum. And Jason, congratulations on the win. What did you like about this team's performance tonight? Uh, our toughness. Um, and, you know, we're figuring it out. It's early, but uh, we're taking it game by game, quarter by quarter. And uh, everybody, everybody contributing. So, uh, you know, I like it. Thanks, Jason. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. And we'll see you next time.